literally the worst place in the game. What are my intentions, Daniel? Oh, whoa. Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. I don't remember exactly where to go. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Where'd my hammer go? Easy there, buddy. Okay, so I got the shard piece. Head is pounding. Drink a laudanum. Ew, the meat! I hate, I hate the choir, man. Nothing's that way. Need to go this way. What's over this way? Not the way I want to go, apparently. This whole area sucks. There's a thing. That's one of the things I needed to rescue Agrippa. Uh, no, don't kill her. Where is it? There it is. So, uh, What's this called? A brass bull? The traitor did not know what to did not know what to think of the brass bull, as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of the fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through his comp uh, excuse me. Traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. <laughs> Outside, the men could hear the goodness me, brazen bull bellow.
I don't have a, a uh, tinder box, but if I were to light this, it would, uh, the bull would scream. All right, so let's take this left here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hug the right wall. The rules to any labyrinth. I hate this area because I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Actually, the rule to the labyrinth is hug the left wall, but I always hug the right. Okay, what's this? Is this the entrance? I think this might be the entrance. No, it's the Iron Maiden. You tried, but you failed. You can get in it, and it will slam shut on you. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt the blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Gross! Let's go ahead and close this so that I don't accidentally step inside of it. Because it will injure me and that'll be a bad day. Then you hug in the right wall. Choir entrance. What was straight out? No, hug the right wall. Did I find everything? I feel like there's more. I don't know. I think there was another door somewhere else. I'm sure that I found everything else. That's all the places in the choir. I hope it is. No, in my luck, it's not. the entrance to the other place. I think it's on the opposite side of the stairs, probably. Who knows? We'll find out. Did I go in that door? Yeah. And this... is where I use the meat. Boop. Goodness. Give it. Give it back. Hmm. 
Can I have a bag now? Yay! If you don't mind, I'll be taking that. This should take me, yep, to the transept. Now, I don't remember where to get the Vitae. That's a cool area. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Lord! Kill me! This one. Prepare him. This one. Prepare him. Alright, so we have three more torture chambers. I remember where to get the pate. Do I have a jar still? I do. The kidnapper sat on, their, on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted from her body. Her shoulders would give away in the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Fucked up, huh? Anyway, there should be. What is this? Oh, it's Fallen Jane. Should be. It's in here. It's fucked up, isn't it? Oh, but that's not even the worst one. The worst one is where we get the Vitae from. I think this is the worst one. No, no, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! I'll do anything! I... <laughs> yeah, so this is by far the worst one. Wow. Oh. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on the on and off the impaler it didn't take much to break him they had meant for him to die but the torture was working beyond their expectations it wasn't the method it was the arsonist he was different from the others they could make him forget again it's fucked up dude squish there should be a painting in here somewhere depicting it i thought oh well i guess this isn't where i get the bate from that's all right This is where I get Vitae from. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged, him, lodged itself in his hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. This is the worst one! 